Thanks. A Tumwa High Softball, 1240 AM, 102.7 FM KBIZ, and the live video stream at TumwaRadio.com. Good afternoon once again, everybody. Jason Van Arkel back with you at Houston Field for the final game of the 2020 at Tumwa Classic. Your Tumwa Bulldogs ranked 10th in Class 5A, taking on Fairfield, who's ranked 9th in Class 4A. The Bulldogs a little while ago in a game you heard right, right here and saw right here on the video stream dropped a heartbreaker to Class 3A number one Davenport Assumption 4-3. Assumption scoring four runs in the sixth inning, inning three of them unearned to, to erase a three-run Atumwa lead. Fairfield earlier today knocked off Class 3A number 3 Albia here in Ottumwa 7-1. That, that was after Albia had beaten Assumption 8-7. So those, those 3A rankings is probably going to be a little, little topsy-turvy. The Assumption had actually lost three in a row. Tumwa nearly made it four in a row before Assumption rallied. Albia made a case to be the new, new number one. They, they were still undefeated after they beat Assumption and then Fairfield knocked them around pretty good. So it'll be interesting to see what happens in the 3A rankings next week. In the meantime, Tumwa look, looking for that elusive Win over ranked opponent wouldn't be the first this year. Of course, Bulldogs have a win over number one Fort Dodge, but they really should have had that win over Assumption a little while ago. Here they'll try to make up up for it by taking care of Fairfield. But Fairfield certainly no slouch. Of course, the, the Trojans are 15 and one on the season after their win. Over Albia. We're waiting the start of, of game uh, game two for Tumwa and game four of the classic this year. Just a four team, four game tournament this year. I'm trying to determine if they have a national anthem they have to play or if they did it before game. Game one. I didn't arrive here until after the second game of the day had started when Albia was playing Fairfield. I tell you what, let's take a two minute timeout, come back. Probably we'll have the first pitch on the Atomo Radio Sports Network. At Community First Credit Union, there's a lot to see. We build customized financial solutions so you can enjoy the life you want. We make it comfortable to have a conversation about what's important to you, like helping you stay on course to reach your savings goal. And what's important to us all, like helping to support causes that count. See for yourself what See First can do for you. Hi, I'm Mark Frymware, new owner of Champion Bowl in Ottumwa, Iowa. Call us at Champion Bowl to join the fun. We have new hours to better serve you. We are open Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m., Friday and Saturday, 10 a.m. to midnight, and noon to 10 every Sunday. If you just want to hang out in the lounge, we have a full bar and a great menu. Make sure and like us on Facebook. Facebook for weekly fun and special at Champion Bowl in Ottumwa, where bowling is fun. Yes, the great outdoors is wide open. 
so why not make the most of it? Expand your family's freedom with the off-road's best. Like the only built-in GPS that doesn't require a cell connection. And group tracking that lets you spread out on the tra trail, but stay together for the journey. Polaris. Think outside. Stop into Slayton Polaris. Located eight miles south and west of Pulaski. Palace Cafe and Books invites you to stop in and try their real, not fast, fresh, never frozen, made in house menu, which is sure to satisfy. Start your day with their fresh brewed coffee or one of their specialty drinks and a delicious breakfast. Stop in for a cup of one of their homemade soups, a sandwich, or salad for lunch. Don't forget dessert. At Cole Palace Cafe and Books, your purchases help our neighbors with disabilities learn valuable job skills. Check out their gently used books while you wait. That's Cole Palace Cafe and Books at 226 West Main Street, Atomwa. You're watching the Atomwa Bulldogs on the Atomwa Radio Sports Network. Tumwa High softball on KBIZ already underway at Tumwa and Fairfield in the final game of the classic. Shaylin Drish at the plate for Fairfield takes a strike from Ashton Brown, and that's the first strike after three balls were thrown. So it's three and one to Drish. Brown, who struggled with control this year, brings it home low, and that's a leadoff walk. Allison Rebling, the designated player, batting in the number two spot for Fairfield. We'll check stats of Fairfield players as we go along. But keeping in mind that stats do not include their win over Albia earlier today. First pitch, bunt shown. Pitch is a strike, 0-1. The first pitch of the game came at 518, 87 degrees. Mostly sunny skies overhead, although some more Clouds starting to come in. An east wind at six miles an hour, barely blowing at all. Pitch bunted back to Ashton Brown. Throw to first, threw it down, down the right field line. Backed up by Nickerson, but that'll put runners at second and third with nobody out. A walk, a sacrifice, and then a two base throwing error on Brown. Brown has been scuffling a bit as of late. She comes in with a 5-1 and one record. Now her, her next pitch is outside for ball one. Number six is at bat. I don't have a number six on my roster for Fairfield, and I was not given a starting line. That's Cody Engel, who's number four on the varsity bound roster. Pitch is a strike, and the county even at one and one. Second and third, nobody out. Fairfield threatening early. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Chase to rise ball, ball one and two. The defense for Tomwa and guest in left. Hannah Huzinga in center. Casey Nickerson in right. Josie Lemons at third. Kaylee Bix at short. Delaney Stevens at second. Jillian Heaton at first. And Zoe Jones behind 
behind the plate. That pitch lined in a left center field. That's down for a hit. It'll be cut off near the fence, but it's going to be a two-run double for Engel. And Fairfield out to a quick 2-0 lead. Should only have been one, except for the air. Fairfield jumped on Albia early in their first game today, scoring three in the first. They've got two home and a runner at second. Nobody out here in the second game. That pitch in there for a strike, 0-1. And a Simpson at the plate. Brown's pitch. High and away. One ball, one strike. Brown trying to settle down here in the top of the first, the pitch. Tried to check her swing. That's a strike. So went around on one and two. Anna Simpson hitting 413, two home runs, 26 RBI. And a liner up the middle. That's in the center for a base hit. They're waving the runner around third. Here's Hazinga's throw to the plate. It is not in time. It skipped off the glove of the catcher, Jones. If that throw had been on the fly, they'd have gotten there. It's an RBI single for Simpson. Goes to second on the throw. And it is 3-0. of Peyton McCabe. McCabe hitting 370 with 11 batted in. Takes a strike going one. We mentioned Ashton Brown Brown, 5 and 1, the ERA 3.70, and she's really struggled with control. 33 walks in 41 and 2 thirds innings. The 0 1 is low, one ball, one strike. Brown started game two at Roosevelt on Wednesday, but left with her team trailing. Ashlyn Sheets came in to pitch the final few innings and got the win. The 1-1 hit high in the air to left, back towards the corner, into foul territory and out of play, out of the reach of Van Guest for strike two. And ran over into the corner there, but the ball ended up over the fence and in foul territory. One ball, two strikes. A walk, a sack bunt that was thrown away for an error, a two run double, an RBI single, runner going to second on the throw. It's 3 nothing Fairfield already. That pitch called strike three for out number one. Brown finally records the first out. Now I will face the catcher, Jenna Norris.
Right-handed batter digs in. First pitch on the way from Brown. Big swing and a miss 0-1. Norris hitting 383, three home runs, home runs, 22 driven in. Brown's 0-1 offering. Foul off to the right, landing near the on deck circle for first base side, 0-1-2. Somewhat does have sheets, it appears, throwing in the bullpen. 0 oh 2. Brown to Norris. Popped up, foul back and out of play. We'll do it again. At 0 oh 2. Three nothing Fairfield, one one out top first. Less than an ideal start, obviously, for OHS. The O2 again. High, one and two. Jalen Drish walked. Allison Revling laid down a sack bunt and Brown three. Threw it down the right field line for a two-base error. Cody Engel hit a two-run double. Hannah Simpson, an RBI single. Peyton McCabe struck out, and now Norris takes a pitch up, up high. Count evens a two and two. Wind in the 2-2 two -two pitch. Driven into left field. Guest going back. Makes the catch of that line drive for out number two. Nice play by Ann Guest. That brings up Dan. Danielle Breen, the center fielder. Breen hitting 368 with a home run and five driven in and pops it foul back over the screen for strike one. One to Breen. Brown is trying to get out of this first inning. Trying to strand the runner at second and keep it somewhere within three. Three, the 0 1. Big swing and a miss, 0 and 2. No balls, two strikes. Now the pitch, swing and a miss on a rise ball. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Breen down on three pitches in the inning over, but Fairfield gets three runs on two hits, one error, and one left. We go to the bottom of the first, the trophy. Trojans 3 with the Bulldogs coming up. Back in 30 seconds on the Atomo Radio Sports Network. It's time to choose the credit union with a new perspective. At Meridian Credit Union, we don't just see member profiles. We see people. People with goals. People who want to save more. People that we can help. That's why we offer financial services convenient to you 
great loan rates, online banking with bill pay, mobile banking, and credit cards. Join the many satisfied Meridian members today. See how our perspective can help you. Meridian Credit Union, where it feels like home. You're watching the Atomwa Bulldogs on the Atomwa Radio Sports Network. Bottom of the first inning, a Tumble High softball on KBIZ. Bulldogs have work to do. They're down 3-0 to Fairfield. Casey Nickerson will lead it off. And she'll be followed by Zoe Jones and Kaylee Bix. Nickerson was two for four with a pair of singles in a run against Assumption earlier today. First pitch down low from Cody Engel for, for ball one. Engel, a freshman, their number two, two pitcher, 7 and 0 with a 2.84 ERA. Fairfield's only lost once all year. Pitch up and in. Nickerson 2 and Two balls, no strikes. Swing and a miss. And the count goes to 2 and 1. We will set the defense for Fairfield here in a moment. And a line drive to left, but it is right at the left fielder Delaney Breen for out number one. That brings up Zoe Jones. Zoe was 0 for 3 with a sacrifice against Assumption here at the Classic today. Delaney Breen in left, Danielle Breen in center, Brinley Allison in right for Fairfield. Peyton McCabe at third, Shaylen Drish at short, Destiny Gridley at second, Hannah Simpson at first. And Jenna Norris behind the plate. There's a ground ball through the hole up the middle base hit. And Jones has the Bulldogs' first hit of the day, or first hit of this game. And that brings up Kaylee Bix. Bix was one for two with a walk, a single, and two runs scored versus Assumption. One on, one out, and a liner to left field. That is dropped, falling on her back was Delaney Breen. She tried to slide to make the catch. It was in the glove for a moment. Then she, she fell back. It popped out. Jones hustling to second. She, she was on her way back to first. first. Looked like that ball would, would be caught. So it's first and second, and the batter for Jillian Heaton. Heaton is was one for three against Assumption with an RBI. And a chopper to the third baseman. 
and stepping on third is McCabe. The throw to first, and that is a five to three double play to retire the side. No runs, one, one hit, one error, one left after an inning. Bulldogs down three nothing. Back in thirty seconds on the Utah Radio Sports Network. Wondering what to have for lunch or supper? Stop in and see Mike and his team at Mike's Pizza and Steakhouse. Whether you want amazing Greek food, pasta, salads, sandwiches, fish, chicken, steak, or the best pizza in town, they have what you want. They are always open for carryout, and their full menu is available at mikespizzasteakhouse.com. Thank you, Southern Iowa, for making Mike's Pizza and Steakhouse your favorite restaurant. And your favorite pizza place. Proud to support the Atomo Bulldogs. You're watching the Atomo Bulldogs on the Atomo Radio Sports Network. Top of the second inning of Tumwa High Softball brought to you by Josh Brenna and the team at Meridian Credit Union where it feels like home by Dr. Dwayne Petrito at Petrito Orthodontics in Tumwa and Oskaloosa where they want to give you a smile that lasts a lifetime. Call today for an appointment. And by Mark and the team at Champion Bowl in Tumwa opening soon with new upgrades to make your bowling experience even better. Champion Bowl were bowling. Bowling is fun. Eight, nine, and one do up for Fairfield in the second inning. Delaney Breen, Brindley Allison, and then Shaylin Drish. Delaney Breen, the sophomore, came in into the day batting 220 with 11 runs batted in. Ashton Brown, a rough first inning. Now this pitch is a check swing foul back to the screen. 3-0-1. Fairfield getting three runs on two hits, a walk and an air in the first inning. That pitch inside and we're even at a ball and a strike. The next pitch on the inside corner in the count one and two. Brown's next pitch swing and a miss strike three. Breen is gone for out number one. Third strikeout for Ashton Brown. It brings up Brindley Allison, the right fielder. Hitting 350 with four runs batted in. First pitch on the inside corner for a called strike. Brown 0-1 to Allison. It swung on a miss, strike two. No balls, two strikes. The pitch, swing and a miss, strike three. Good 
Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Allison down on three pitches. Four strikeouts, including three in a row for Brown. And now back to the top of the order for Shaylen Drish, who walked and scored in the Trojans' three-run first. Righty to lefty, the pitch on the way. Up high, ball one. Brown rocks and fires again. And, and that's outside 2-0. Two out, nobody on. Here in the top of the second, a tumble down, three nothing. The two zero, low and away, three and zero. Senior looks in for the sign from Joe. Jones and now Brown's 3-0 pitch. Outside ball four, second walk drawn by Drish. A four-pitch walk this time. That brings up Allison Redling. She laid down a sack bunter first time up, then reached when the ball was thrown away. Rebling a 308 hitter on the year coming into the day. First pitch. Inside corner, strike one. The Atoma defense, San Gast in left, Tana Hazinga in center, Casey Nickerson in right. As the 0 1 is high, one ball, one strike. Josie Lemon. Simmons at third, Kaylee Bix at short, Delaney Stevens at second, Jillian Heaton at first, Zoe Jones behind the plate. One ball, one strike. The pitch popped it up. Coming in is Heaton, the first baseman, to make the catch. And the side is retired. No runs, no hits, a walk and a Runner left. We go to the bottom of the second. Atumwa trailing Fairfield 3 nothing. Back in 30 seconds on the Atumwa Radio Sports Network. At Dixon's Floors and More, we don't mind being different as long as the difference is better. With hundreds of brands to choose from, including the largest manufacturers in the industry, we transform the volume of products we carry into lower or prices for you. Don't start your project without starting at Dixon's Floors and More. Mention you saw this video and receive 5% off your entire purchase at Dixon's Floors and More in Ottumwa. You're watching the Ottumwa Bulldogs on the Ottumwa Radio Sports Network. Bottom of the second inning, Bulldog softball brought to you by Community First Credit Union with 17 locations to serve you. By Slayton Polaris, your home for the best deals on Polaris Rangers and ATVs. Call or stop in and see them today, eight miles south and west of Pulaski. And by Sonic Drive-In, featuring made-to-order American classics, signature menu items, and speedy service from friends. And the car hops. Cruise on over to Sonic on North 63 next to Walgreens for the ultimate Sonic experience. 
Someone down 3 nothing as they bat here in the second inning. Lemons, Hazinga, and Guess do up. First pitch from Cody Engel is grounded out to short. Two hops to Shaylin and Drish. Throw to first in time. Lemons is retired, one down. Josie had three hits against Assumption, but starts out 0 for 1 here. Hannah has, <coughs> excuse me, his Inga at the plate. One for three had a big, big RBI single against Assumption that at the time gave, gave the Bulldogs a 3 nothing lead. And she grounds it right side sharply, but right to the second baseman, Gridley. Throw to first and quickly two down. That brings up Ann Guest. And was 0 for 3 against Assumption. The last five Bulldog hitters have hit the first pit. Some with strategy apparently is to attack that first pitch from Engel, but it hasn't worked out so far. Pitch downstairs, ball one. And other than Zoe Jones singling in the first inning, now the one zero. -oh. That's downstairs, 2-0. Oh. Two balls, no strikes. Angles pitch, grounded off the pitcher's glove. It deflects out to Gridley at second, throw to first. In. Time is the call. The inning is over. Record that one to four to three. And Atoma goes in, in order. We go to the third. Bulldogs down, down two nothing. Back in 30 seconds on the Atoma Radio Sports Network. It's time to choose the credit union with a new perspective. At Meridian Credit Union, we don't just see member profiles. We see people. People with goals. People who want to save more. People that we can help. That's why we offer financial services convenient to you. Great loan rates, online banking with bill pay, mobile banking, and credit cards. Join the many satisfied Meridian members today. See how our perspective can help you. Meridian Credit Union, where it feels like home. You're watching the Atomwa Bulldogs on the Atomwa Radio Sports Network. You be scared of John, watch me leave, though. Top of the third inning. Fairfield 3, Atumwa nothing. Bulldog softball in the Atumwa Classic. Atumwa was literally one out away from winning its first game of the day against Davenport Assumption and ended up losing 4-3. to three. Now in early danger of going 0-2 this year in the Classic. Cody Engel, the pitcher, will lead off for Fairfield. And Ashton Brown there was a pitch on the outside corner for a call strike. Engel, a two run double and a run scored her first time up. Righty to lefty, pitcher to pitcher, the wind and the 0 1. Poked in the air, foul off to the left. It'll land out of everybody. 
penalties reach count is 0 and 2. No balls, two strikes. Brown the wind in the pitch. Low and away, one and two. Ashton has struck out four and walked two so far. That leadoff walk in the first inning ended up coming around to haunt her as this pitch is swung on and missed strike three for out number one. Hannah Simpson, the batter, and RBI single her first time up. Left-handed hitting for first baseman digs in. Brown's first offering. High and away, ball one. Ashton holds the ball on her right hip. Now brings home the 1-0. Caught the outside corner, strike one. Simpson digs back in, crowding the plate on the left-hand side. The 1-1. That's right in there, strike two. One ball, ball, two strikes. Brown brings it home. Swing and a miss at the changeup strike three. For out number two. Back to back K's here in the third, third inning. Six in the game now for Brown. And here is Peyton McCabe, who was called out on strikes her first time up. Right-hander to right-hander now. The cable all the way up to the front of that batter's box. And a fly ball foul off to the left. Skimmed off the top of the press box. And the count 0-1. Press box, of course, on top of the home dugout, third base dugout. When we were only doing radio, that's where we broadcast from. Now with the video, give you the camera shot from behind home plate. The 0-1. Lifted in the air to left. Guess coming on. She'll have to play it on a hop. It's a two-out single. Big turn, but and now headed back to first is McCabe as Guess got that back in quickly. I wonder if McCabe thought she hit it farther than she did. Third hit of the game for the Trojans, and here is the catcher, Jenna Norris, who lined out to left on a nice play by Guest back in the first inning. Norris, three, three home runs, 22 RBI coming into the day. First pitch from Brown to Norris. Liner into left field, base hit. Guest will get it back in quickly. Back to back singles for Fairfield with two out here in the third. And the batter, Danielle Breen, struck out her first time up. Oh, 
Green stands in. Standing upright in the right-handed batter's box. Pitch on the way. Inside, ball one. There were two out, nobody on. Now there's two on with two out. Fairfield will try to increase its 3-0 lead. Bulldogs trying to hold, hold them right there. The pitch high, 2-0. Called and Ashton Brown wants her rosin bag from the dugout. And Coach Moore will let her pluck one out of the bag. And another warm, humid summer day, and it's almost got to make sure you've got the grip on the softball that you want. Now the 2 0. It's on the inside corner, strike one. Fairfield leading it somewhere with 3 0. Two out, two on, top third. Two one pitch, lifted into center field. Hazinga jumps up and makes the catch. Came on a few steps on that line drive, but still was able to snag it for out number three. No runs, two hits, two left. Bottom of the third, third coming up. Bulldogs down three nothing. Back in thirty seconds on the It's On Radio Sports Network. Do you are a player, cheerleader, or coach, your friends at Petrita Orthodontics are cheering for you. We are proud of the students in our area and are happy to support them in their school activities. We want to see you smile on and off the field. If you or your child are in need of orthodontic care, call us for a free no-obligation appointment. We have many different options available to help your child's bite and smile. Call us today at Petrita Orthodontics in Ottumwa and Oskaloosa. We look forward to making you smile. Bottom of the third inning. That's almost softball brought to you by Shannon and the team at Dixon's Floors and more. Stop in today, check out the awesome showroom, and let Shannon give you a free estimate for flooring, cabinets, and fireplaces. Dixon's Floors and more just past Walmart in Ottumwa. By Mike and his team at Mike's Pizza and Steakhouse in Ottumwa. Thank you, Southern Iowa, for voting them as your favorite re restaurant and pizza place. Proud to support the Bulldogs. And by the, the Ottumwa Community School District, where they're pr proud to engage, educate, and empower every student every day. Go, go Bulldogs. Ottumwa trailing Fairfield 3 nothing as the Bulldogs bat at the bottom of the third. It'll be Jordan Pauls, Delaney Stevens, and Casey Nickerson. Paul's in game, game one was one for three. She hit, hit a one-out double in the bottom of the sixth and final inning. And it gave a Tumwood a, a, a chance to tie the game against Assumption. And she takes a pitch outside here, ball one. Battle of freshmen here. As that pitch chopped foul back to the backstop right in front of me. Count even ends at a ball and a strike. Cody Engel, the pitcher for Fairfield. 
field. And Paul's the freshman designated player for Otomo. Angles 1-1, way high all the way to the backstop. She had that happen a couple of times while warming up. And the count 2-1. and one. Angle came into the day having walked 19 and 37 innings. She can get a little bit wild. Here's a high fly to center, but it's shallow. Racing in, and it's going to drop between Delaney Breen and Danielle Breen. A bloop single for Jordan Pauls. That brings up Delaney Stevens, who didn't play in game one. Stevens, three for 19 on the season with an RBI. This could be a bunting spot for her. Toma down three in the third inning. First pitch, didn't show bunt, took a strike over. And one. Runner at first, nobody out. Bottom three, Bulldogs trying to get a rally going against the Trojans. The 0 1. Low and away, one ball, one strike. Mandy Moore going through the signs at third. Olivia Rourke coaching at first. One and one, the count out to Stevens. Showing bunt early here. And got a good bunt down back towards the circle. Picked up by Angle. Throw to first. Is in time. Sacrifice one to three. One out runner at second. And here is Casey Nick who lined out to left her first time up. RBI chance for Nickerson here. Pitch on the way. And a ground ball up the middle. That's through for a base hit. They will hold Pauls at third as Breen gets it back in. Runners on the corners and only one out for Zoe Jones, who is one for one, a single her first time up. And now Zoe could drive in the first run here. Atum was hit some balls hard in this game. Haven't had a whole lot to show for it yet. Bunted at and missed. The ball went off the catcher's glove to the back backstop. Paul stayed at third, but Nickerson went down to second, and that is a passed ball. Now, now second and third with one out. It's 0-1 to Zoe Jones. The 0-1. Ground ball to third. They look the runner back, back throw to first in, in time. Now trying to come home as Paul's the th throw, the catch, the tag and out at the plate is Paul's. A tumble uh, hits into its second double play of the game and they're turned away. No runs. Two hits. One left. After three. three Bulldogs still down 3 nothing on the Atomo Radio Sports Network. In Searcy, Arkansas, a young man says I love you for the first time, but his girlfriend doesn't quite hear. In Franklin, Tennessee, a boy encounters his first pickle. And in Kyle, Texas, after a mission for tots, cousins realize they're a long way from Kyle, Texas. One day, 
many people, millions of orders. This is Howie Sonic. You're watching the Atomwa Bulldogs on the Atomwa Radio Sports Network. Top of the fourth inning, Fairfield still leading it some with three nothing. Bulldogs had their best chance to score. Runners on the corners and one out in the bottom of the third. Ground ball to third, and on the throw to first, Jordan Pauls tried to come home and score, but the throw home by Hannah Simpson beat her by a couple of steps. That's twice a ton was bounced into a double play. That one not the not as traditional as the other one. Eight nine and one do up for Fairfield, the Laney Breen, Brinley Allison, and Shaylen Drish. Breen struck out her first time up. Ashton Brown's pitch misses for ball one. Want to know the count to Delaney Breen, and this pitch is lifted in the air to right center. Hannah on her horse gets there to make the catch for out number one. Hannah Hazinga, nice running catch from her center field spot. Brinley Allison, the batter, struck out her first time up. First pitch on the way to, to Allison from Brown is fouled back to the screen for strike one. Brown tells the rubber, right hander to right hander. The 0 1 to Allison. Inside corner, 0 and 2. No balls, two strikes. Brown's pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. Good morning, good afternoon, and good, good night. Allison gone on three pitches for. For the second straight at bat. Two down for Shailen Drish, who has walked twice. Seven strikeouts now for Ashton Brown. She has walked two. She has surrendered the three runs, two of them earned on four hits. First pitch to Drish up high, high ball one. Know the count to the short short stop for the Trojans. Left handed back. The pitch lifted in the air, pop up near second. Bix, the short short stop has it. And it's a one, two, three, fourth inning for Ashton Brown. We go to the bottom half. half dogs need to get the bats going down three, three nothing. Back in 30 seconds on the Atomo Radio Sports Network. It's time to choose the credit union with a new perspective. At Meridian Credit Union, we don't just see member profiles. We see people, people with goals, people who want to save more, people that we can help. 
That's why we offer financial services convenient to you. Great loan rates, online banking with bill pay, mobile banking, and credit cards. Join the many satisfied Meridian members today. See how our perspective can help you. Bulldogs on the Atomic Radio Sports Network. Bottom of the fourth inning, Atomic High Softball brought to you by Cole. Palace Cafe and Books on West Main Street in Ottawa by the train depot. Good quality gourmet food selections. And by Family First Chiropractic, where their goal is to get your family as healthy as possible and keep you healthy for life. Family First Chiropractic, West 2nd Street in Ottawa. Two, three, or pardon me, three, four, and five do up for Ottawa here in the bottom of the fourth. Kaylee. Bix, Jillian Heaton, and Josie Lemons against Cody Engel, the freshman. That pitch bounced in there for ball one. Bix reached on an air, a sinking fly ball dropped by the left fielder, Delaney Breen, her first time up. 1-0 here to the Bulldogs shortstop. And the pitch. Chopper left side, two hops to Drish at short. The throw to first in time for out number one. Jillian Heaton, the batter, bounced into a 5 3 double play, third to first in the first inning. Wind in the pitch, down and in ball one. One ball, no strikes to Heaton. And takes an off speed pitch up high, two and oh. Heaton, four, four home runs on the year. Been a while since she went deep. I think the last time she took one out, out of the park was against Marshalltown. That was one week ago. The 2 0. -oh. Ground, ground ball sharply left side, base hit. Through the hole between third and short. Heaton as a tum was fourth hit. That'll bring up Josie Lemons. And a tum with one out will pinch run for Heaton here. Carly Wynn Wynn to first to run for Heaton with one out in the fourth. Josie Lemons the batter, a ground ball to short her first time up. Bulldogs down 3-0. Each team has four. Four hits. Fairfield also took advantage of a walk and an error in that first inning to plate those three runs. Lemons digs in. First pitch on, on the way. And a ground ball through the whole left side. Base hit. Back to back singles with one out. A Tom almost got something brewing here. And the batter will be Hannah Hazinga, who grounded out to second her, her first time up.
Nzinga stands in. Win at second, Lemons at first. The pitch. Ground ball, ball fielded down the line by the third baseman. Cave steps on the bag, throws to first, and for the third time, Atumwa hits into a double play to end an inning. No runs, two hits, one left after four. four dogs down three, nothing. Back in 30 seconds on the Atumwa Radio Sports Network. At Community First Credit Union, there's a lot to see. We build customized financial solutions so you can enjoy the life you want. We make it comfortable to have a conversation about what's important to you, like helping you stay on course to reach your savings goal. And what's important to us all, like helping to support causes that count. See for yourself what See First can do for you. You're watching the Atomwa Bulldogs on the Atomwa Radio Sports Network. Top of the fifth inning, pretty fast-paced game to this point. Atoma softball at the Atoma Classic trailing Fairfield 3. 3 nothing. All three runs scored in the first. Bulldogs have hit into three double plays. They're out hitting Fairfield 5-4. They keep hitting grounders at the wrong time. 2-3-4 and four in the Trojan order. Rebling, Engel, and Simpson. Brown's pitch is on the inside corner strike to Rebling 0-1. Rebling laid down a sack bunt, reached on an air and scored in the first, popped out in the second, so 0 for 1 with a run. Ashton Brown's next offering came in high, one ball, one strike. And won the count and a pop up on the infield near the bag at second. Behind it, it'll be Bix, the shortstop, to make the catch for out number one. That'll bring up Cody Engel, who is one for two with a two run double and a run score. She's also struck out. You rarely see even one double play in a game in softball. As that pitch is high to angle ball one, Atum was hitting to three of them. Two of them have come with runners on first and second, and a ground ball to third, where the third baseman, McCabe, was right by the back. The other one, runners on the corners and the ground to the third. The thrower went to first, and then the runner from third tried to come home and was cut down. That pitch outside, 2-0. Oh. Two balls, no strikes. Brown's pitch on the outside corner, strike one to Angle. Righty to lefty now, the 2-1 from Brown. Outside, 3-1. and one. Hannah Simpson on deck. Hitters count for Engel, three balls and a strike. 
strike. Brown's pitch. Ground ball off of Brown's glove. Picked up by Stevens at second. The throw to first. Wouldn't have been in time. It gets away. But staying at first will be Angle. And how do you rule this one? One on, one out. If that's an error, who's it on? Should it, Brown have made the play? Was it hit too hard or too high? Stevens threw, threw it away, but I th think Angle would have beaten it out anyway. They've not put a hit on the board. I'm going to assume they gave that error to Brown. One out, one on. Hannah Simpson, an RBI single, and a strikeout, one for two. First pitch on the way. Taken for a strike, 0 and 1. Fairfield does not run much at all. They only have three stolen bases as a team this year. Engel at first does have one of them. The 0 1. Down and away. One ball, one, one strike to the left handed batting Simpson. Simpson just a sophomore. As the 1 1 pitch grounded right, right side through the hole. Picked up and right by Nickerson. And getting it back in quickly, but that is a single for Simpson, who's two for three. Now runners at first and second with one down for Peyton McCabe, who's one for two with a single. Shouldn't have said anything about this game being fast-paced here in the fifth inning. Fairfield poised to try to break it wide open, already leading 3-0. Ashton's pitch, liner caught by Lemons, throw to second, they double her off. And that'll end the inning, Bulldogs turn a double play. Engel got too far off the bag as Lemons caught up that line drive, and just like that, the inning's over. No runs, one hit, one error, one left. Uh, Brandon and, and Annie, we're going to take a one. One minute timeout out here. And we'll be back for the bottom of the fifth inning. Bulldogs down 3 nothing on the Atomo Radio Sports Network. In Searcy, Arkansas, a young man says I love you for the first time, but his girlfriend doesn't quite hear. In Franklin, Tennessee, a boy encounters his first pickle. And in Kyle, Texas, after a mission for tots, cousins realize they're a long way from Kyle, Texas. One day, many people, millions of orders. This is how we saw Nick. It's time to choose the credit union with a new perspective. At Meridian Credit Union, we don't just see member profiles. We see people. People with goals. People who want to save more people that we can help. That's why we offer financial services convenient to you. Great loan rates, online banking with bill pay, mobile banking, and credit cards. Join the many satisfied Meridian members today. See how our perspective can help you. Meridian Credit Union, where it feels like home. You're watching the Atomwa Bulldogs on the Atomwa Radio Sports Network.
Bottom of the fifth inning, Bulldogs still down 3 nothing to Fairfield. Here at Houston Field, Bulldogs softball brought to you by Lisco, Southeast Iowa's leader in fiber optic telecommunications. Lisco of Fairfield. And by River Hills Community Health Center, locations in Ottumwa, Centerville, Oskaloosa, Richland, and Sigourney. They've been growing healthy communities for over 20 years. Visit riverhillshealth.org for updates and more information or find them on Facebook. 7, 8, and 9 for Ottumwa. Guest Pauls and Stevens do up against Cody Engel. And, and, and chops it left side in the hole of Church. Patricia Bobble grabs it, throw to first, not in time. Guest is on to lead off the fifth, fifth inning. They, they will call that an infield hit deep in the hole for Ann Guest. And the batter, Jordan Paul, who is one for one in this game with a single, was eventually thrown out at the plate, trying to score on a ground. It's the closest that Tom has come to scoring so far. Angle to Pauls, and a little looper. That'll be into left field past the short shortstop Drish, stopping at second is Guest. Back-to-back -back singles to open the fifth inning. Delaney Stevens, the batter. A sack punt her, her first time up, and I would not be the lead. He's a bit surprised if she does that again. We're in the bottom of the fifth inning. This game not even an hour old yet. And the pitch in the dirt. No sign of a bunt. Ball one. But Stevens took the first two pitches last time, then bunted. And he digs back in. Guest at second. Paul's at first. Nobody out. There's a strike. One and one. Top of the order. Nickerson on deck. Angle brings it home. And it's hot. I two and one. Still no sign of a bunt from Stevens. Two balls and a strike to the Bulldogs second baseman. Angles pitch. Lion into center field base hit. Guest had to hold up to make sure that Drish wouldn't catch. It had ticked off her glove. It's a single to load the bases with nobody out. And here is Casey Nickerson. Casey one for two with a single. Bases full of dogs. Nobody out. Atomwa maybe trying to do it at Fairfield what some should did to Atomwa earlier today. The pitch. Liner off the third baseman's glove. Picked up by the shortstop. The throw home. And out at the plate on the force for out number one. You know what? That ball arrived about as in time as the game one play where on the Assumption runners ruled safe at home on a force play. Different umpire at the plate here in game two, but still. I can't argue with this call, but that's frustrating. The liner goes off the glove. Guest was hesitating because it looked like it was going to be a line out. Turns into a fielder's choice. Five to six to two. Now the batter is Jones. And the pitch outside ball, ball one. All right, we've had Atumwa's hitting the three, three double plays. Fairfield's hitting the one. Fairfield's 
return to one four three and a five five six two put out, but force out. And now the pitch bounces in there to Jones, and it's two and no, no place to put her. And frustrating for Nickerson if that, that ball's a few inches further to the left of McCabe at third. It goes into left field for an RBI single. Long look into the dugout by the catcher, Norris, to get the sign. Now the 2-0. High fly to right. Going back is Allison. She'll make the catch. Tagging is Pauls. And she will score without a throw. It's almost on the board. Sack fly by Zoe Jones, 3-1. Staying at second is Stevens. Nickerson at first, two down for Bix. Kaylee Bix, 0 for 2, has reached on an error and grounded out. Pitch outside, ball, ball one. For Jones, that is her sixth RBI on the season. Little liner caught by the shortstop. Drish, and the side is retired. Someone just gets one run out of that. They had him loaded with nobody out. Three hits, they leave two. We go to the sixth inning. Dogs down three to one. Back in 30 seconds on the Atomo Radio Sports Network. Family First Chiropractic, it is our goal to get you and your family as healthy as possible and keep you healthy for the rest of your life. We deliver an elevated level of care for the entire family. We approach healthcare from a holistic view, incorporating multiple chiropractic techniques and physical therapy to ensure that our patients achieve the best results as fast as possible. We believe you deserve the best. A little preventative care now will eliminate pain management in later years. We want our kids to grow and live an active, healthy lifestyle. Get your family checked at Family First Chiropractic. You're watching the Atomwa Bulldogs on the Atomwa Radio Sports Network. I did not call the play, I came to dominate. Dominate. Top of the sixth inning, it's almost back, back within two. It's Fairfield three, three Bulldogs one. Norris and, and the two Breens do up for Fairfield against Ashton Brown, who has settled down since giving up three in the first inning. Norris is 0 for two. Pardon me, one for two with a line out and a single. She takes ball one here. Norris digs back in. And a swing and a miss. Count even is it a ball and a strike. Browns 1-1. One, one. Off speed came in high, two and one. Brown again, the pitch. Inside corners, strike two. Brown has struck out seven. She's walked two. Only given up five, five hits. Tomwa out hitting Fairfield eight, eight to five. Here's the 2-2 two, two, way high. 
by three and two. Danielle Breen on deck. Three balls, two strikes. The pitch. Low ball four. four. You're at Tumwa. You need to avoid letting Fairfield do what they did against Albia earlier today. In that Fairfield Albia game, Fairfield scored three in the first. Albia got one back, and then Fairfield broke it open with a four run inning. And they won seven to one. Danielle Breen, the batter, she has struck out and lined out 0 for 2. First pitch on the way. Bunt shown and bunted foul back to the screen, strike one. Fairfield, three runs, five hits, one error. Tumwa, one run, eight hits, and two errors. The 0 1. Pulled the bat back in the ruling of the umpire. One ball, one strike. They have appealed down to first, and the base umpire agrees she did not offer it the ball. One and one. And Brown's pitch. Bunted foul off to the right, 0 and 2. Or, pardon me, 1 and 2. So, so the bunt likely off now for, for Fairfield. As Danielle Breen digs back, back in. The runner at first and the one two pitch. High two and two. Brown trying to pitch around a leadoff walk. Fairfield was trying to sacrifice her to a second, but now a two two, two pitch. Down and in three and two. Three balls, two strikes. The payoff pitch. High fly deep to left. Guest is back, and that ball is gone. Fairfield was, was going to sacrifice, but instead, Daniel Breen hits a two run homer. And they, they lead a tumble. Five to one. Green's second home run. And I think that's going to be all here for Ashton Brown. Andy Morris come out of the dugout to talk to the umpire. And it is a call to the bullpen for OHS. We'll take a one-minute timeout, come back and tell you about the new picture after this. One minute, and we're back on the Atomal Radio Sports Network. In Searcy, Arkansas, a young man says I love you for the first time, but his girlfriend doesn't quite hear. Franklin, Tennessee, a boy encounters his first pickle. And in Kyle, Texas, after a mission for tots, cousins realize they're a long way from Kyle, Texas. One day, many people, millions of orders. 
This is Howie Sonic. At Community First Credit Union, there's a lot to see. We build customized financial solutions so you can enjoy the life you want. We make it comfortable to have a conversation about what's important to you, like helping you stay on course to reach your savings goal. And what's important to us all, like helping to support causes that count. See for yourself what See First can do for you. Watching the Atomic Bulldogs on the Atomic Radio Sports Network. You be, you be scared to jump, watch me leave, The new Atomic pitcher is freshman lefty Ashlyn Sheets in her first pitch. Perhaps a little bit low to Delaney Breen. Ball one. Sheets on the year 1-0. Two relief appearances. Has a save. And no ERA. There's a strike. And it's 1-1 one and one to Delaney Breen. Who's 0-2. Four, four and two-thirds innings pitch for Ashland Sheets. Three hits allowed, one hit batter, five strikeouts. That pitch up high, and it's two and one. Sheets got the save in the win at Ames earlier this year, and then came on in relief and got the win on Wednesday at Des Moines Roosevelt. Actually kind of wondered after that game if Sheets might not get this start today. There's a ground ball out to Stevens at second, throw to first, and one down in the sixth. Brindley Alice in the batter struck out twice. The line on Ashton Brown five, five innings pitch plus the first two batters of this inning. Five runs allowed, four earned on six hits, two walks, seven strikeouts, 87 pitches. We've got a pinch hitter here for Brindley Allison. Emerson Manley. Will pinch hit. For Brindley Allison. Right handed batter, open stance. First pitch, outside ball one. Manley just a freshman. 0 for 5 so far at the plate this season. The 1 0, fouled straight back 1 and 1. Ashland Sheets is a rarity in being a left handed softball pitcher. Not recall seeing very many of them over, over the years. I don't know if righty versus lefty means as much in softball as it does in baseball. Well, I don't think it does. There's a flare down the right field line, twisting foul out of the reach of Nickerson for strike two. One and two. They count to the pinch hitter Emerson Manley. Digs in. Just one bat in glove. Black and white. Cleats on her feet. Beat the one-two pitch. Slow and away. Two and two. One out. Nobody on. Two runs home for Fairfield here in the sixth. Sixth inning on the home run by Danielle Breen. They lead a time of five to one. The two two pitch. Fly ball to center. Going back 
is Hazinga makes the catch out number two. That brings up Shaylen Drish, who's 0 for 2 with two or 0 for 1 with two walks and one run scored. Fairfield now five runs, six hits, and one error. Otumwo, one run, nine hits, and one error. The Bulldogs have left five on base and have hit into three double plays. Drish takes a strike, 0 and 1. one. Now the 0-1. Swing and a miss. Chased one in the dirt. 0-2. It's a lefty-lefty matchup here. I don't know if that has much of an effect, but Drish was fooled pretty badly right there. 0-2. Now, now the pitch on the way. High. One ball, two strikes. Tumble will have Heaton, Lemons, and Hazinga do up in the bottom of the sixth inning. The one, two. Ground ball right back to the circle. Sheets has it. Throw to first. Inning over. Well, Ashland Sheets came on and retired the three batters she faced, but Fairfield gets. Two runs, one hit. No errors, nobody left. The home run by Breen, providing the two runs. We go to the bottom of the sixth. Dogs down 5-1. Back in 30 seconds on the Atomo Radio Sports Network. Palace Cafe and Books invites you to stop in and try their real, not fast, fresh, never frozen, made in-house menu, which is sure to satisfy. Start your day with their fresh brewed coffee or one of their specialty drinks and a delicious breakfast. Stop in for a cup of one of their homemade soups, a sandwich, or salad for lunch. Don't forget dessert. At Cole Palace Cafe and Books, your purchases help our neighbors with disabilities learn valuable job skills. Check out their gently used books while you wait. That's Cole Palace Cafe and Books at 226 West Main Street, Ottawa. You're watching the Ottawa Bulldogs on the Ottawa Radio Sports Network. Bottom of the sixth inning, Fairfield's push their lead out, out to four. It's 5-1 Trojans ahead of your Tumble Bulldogs. As Heaton Lemons and Hazinga come to bat against the freshman Cody Engel. Heaton is one for two with an RBI single. Pardon me, just one for two of the single. She does not have an RBI in this game. Had an RBI, I believe, in the first game. Fairfield has put Brindley Allison back in right field after she was pinch hit for. In the sick top of the sixth inning. Now the other th three games in the classic all ended after six, six innings on the time, time limit. As this pitch is in the dirt ball one. I think we'll get a seventh inning unless a tumble has a big rally here. I had the game start, starting at 5:18 and it's now, now 6:26. As Heaton fouls it back, back one and one. So we've still, still probably got 20 minutes. 
minutes to play. I wouldn't mind a long at somewhere rally, of course. A pitch downstairs, two and one. I suppose if a Tumwa put five on the board in this inning, I know that seems like a long shot now, but if they did, it might take them 20 minutes, and then we might be done. Bounced in there, and it's three and one. Now, if Heaton reaches here, she won't be pinch run for it. Tom has already done that once. You do it a second time the players out of the game permanently. Three and one, one, the pitch. High ball four. Well, home run's always nice, but when you're down four, you need base runners. And Heaton works a lead off walk. I believe that's the first. First walk Atum was drawn in this game. Josie Lemons is one for two of the single. She's got four hits today combined. And that pitch in the dirt, ball one. Cody Engel struggling with command here in the sixth inning. Let's see if Atumwa can find a way to make her pay for it. A 1-0. Liner into left field, base hit. Lemons is two for three and has five hits in the Classic now. And the batter, Hannah Hazinga, who is 0 for two, is grounded out twice. Just get base hits, just keep the line moving here. And don't hit a grounder right at McCabe at third. It'll be another double play. They've, Bulldogs have done that twice. Atumwa can pinch run here for Lemons. And Fairfield may be making some changes here as well. I think Cody Engel is done in the circle. Matty Hawk will run for Lemons at first. And Fairfield to call, call to the bullpen. So let's take a one minute time, time out. We'll come back and tell you about the new pitcher on the Atomo Radio Sports Network. Engage, educate, and empower every student, every day. Atomo School. Building relationships, foundations for Success. Helping every student to achieve their best. Engage, educate, and empower every student every day. Schools. Yes. The great outdoors is wide open. So why not make the most of it? Expand your family's free with the off-road's best. Like the only built-in GPS that doesn't require a cell connection and group tracking that lets you spread out on the trail but stay together for the journey. Polaris. Think outside. Stop into Slayton Polaris located 8 miles south and west of Pulaski. You're watching the Atomic Bulldogs on the, the Atomic Radio Sports Network. So the new pitcher for Fairfield is their ace, Allison Reblick. She got the win over Albia earlier today, so she's 8-1. and one. Her ERA coming into today, 0.94. Fairfield has now switched their catcher and third baseman. Norris is playing third, and McCabe is catching. Here's Hazinga. 
And a big swing and a miss at a rise ball, 0 and 1. A walk to Heaton, a single by Lemons, first and second. Nobody out. Hauk running for Lemons at first. Now Otomo's got to find a way to get through against the Fairfield base. The senior, Allison Rebley. The 0-1. Swing and a miss. Boy, Rebling throws hard, 0-2. Rebling's a senior pitching in her final campaign for Fairfield. Angle, no doubt, will be their ace next year. 0-2 to Hazinga. The pitch on the way. On the outside corner, called strike three, and Hazinga's down for out number one. And guess the bat. She is one for two of the single. Rebling coming in had struck out 84 batters in 52 innings. So someone has got to speed those bats up. First pitch to guest. Taken for a strike, 0-1. Bulldogs down for... 5-1, one, one out, two on bottom of the sixth. The 0-1. There's another strike going to. Well, it's a tough part of the order to have to face the ace coming in. At least somewhat fresh. The 0 2. Down, down low, inside, 1 and 2. Guess try, trying to hang in there. If she gets on, the tying run would come to the plate. The 1 2. Fouled it back, back off the screen. Green will do it again. One ball, two strikes. And with a practice swing outside the box before standing in. Two on, one out. The one, two. On. On the inside corner, strike three. Two down, and the batter Jordan Pauls is two for two with a couple of singles, and she has scored a tumble's only run to this point. First pitch from Rebling. There's a strike, 0 and 1. Tomo was swinging early almost all the time against Engel. Engel in five innings plus two batters only threw 48 pitches. Swing and a foul tip, and it's 0-2. Rebling threatening to strike out the side after Tomo put the first two on. The 0-2 to Pauls. Checked her swing, pitch up high. It will appeal, but no swing. Count is one and two. Jordan hanging in there. Now the one two. Fouled straight back. We'll do it again. One ball, two strikes. Delaney Stevens on deck. Oh, 
the pitch. Fouled back again. Paul is starting to feel the timing out a little bit here. Still one ball, two strikes. Pitch on the way. Bounced it in there all the way to the backstop. And both runners will advance on the wild pitch. Now the count two and two to Jordan Pauls. And a base hit could score two. The two two. Blowing in three and two. Three balls, two strikes to Jordan Pauls. This is a good at bat against it's a very good pitch. Payoff pitch. Fly ball to right. Pretty well hit. Going back. Allison reaches up, makes the catch to retire the side. Man. A Toma fan screaming the ball was dropped, but the out called in the inning over. I think Mandy Moore would like some kind of explanation, but right now just talking to Olivia Rourke. So no runs, one hit, hit two left. We go to the seventh. It's somewhat down five to one. And we're back in one minute. One, one minute, guys, on the Atomo Radio Sports Network. It's time to choose the credit union with a new perspective. At Meridian Credit Union, we don't just see member profiles. We see people. People with goals. People who want to save more. People that we can help. That's why we offer financial services convenient to you. Great loan rates, online banking with bill pay, mobile banking, and credit cards. Join the many satisfied Meridian members today. See how our perspective can help you. You are a player, cheerleader, or coach. Your friends at Patricia Orthodontics are cheering for you. We are proud of the students in our area and are happy to support them in their school activities. We want to see you smile on and off the field. If you or your child are in need of orthodontic care, call us for a free no-obligation appointment. We have many different options available to help your child's bite and smile. Call us today at Patricia Orthodontics in Ottumwa and Oskaloosa. We look forward to making you smile. You're watching the Ottumwa Bulldogs on the Ottumwa Radio Sports Network. Tumwa High Softball on KBIZ, top of the seventh inning. Ashlyn Sheets on for her second inning of relief. She's gone 0-2 on Allison Rebling, who's now pitching for Fairfield. Rebling is 0-2, has scored a run. And takes called strike three in the outside corner. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Sheets sets her down on three pitches. For out number one. Cody Engel, the batter, now the designated player. Engel is one for three with a two run double and a run scored. That pitch outside, ball one. pitch lefty to lefty in there for a strike one and one
One and one. one. Sheets to angle on the outside corner. Strike two. One ball, two strikes. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Sheets. Two down in the seventh. And the batter, Hannah Simpson, who's two for three, two singles and an RBI. Another lefty-lefty matchup here. Pitch. Chopper right side charging is Stevens, the second baseman, underhand to first. And a quick, quick one, two, three, seven for Ashland Sheet. She has done very well in relief this season. Last chance for Atumwa. Down 5 5 1. We go bottom seven. Back in one, one minute on the Atumwa Radio Sports Network. At Community First Credit Union, there's a lot to see. We build custom. Customized financial solutions so you can enjoy the life you want. We make it comfortable to have a conversation about what's important to you, like helping you stay on course to reach your savings goal. And what's important to us all, like helping to support causes that count. See for yourself what C First can do for you. In Searcy, Arkansas, a young man says I love you for the first time, but his girlfriend doesn't quite hear. In Franklin, Tennessee, a boy encounters his first pickle. And in Kyle, Texas, after a mission for tots, cousins realize they're a long, long way from Kyle, Texas. One day, many people, millions of orders, this is how we sonic. You're watching the Atomic Bulldogs on the Atomic Radio Sports Network. I didn't know I was going to play. I came to dominate. Last chance. Chance for a tumble, bottom seven. Fairfield leading five to one. Bulldogs need a rally against Allison Rebling, the ace pitcher who's come on in relief. Delaney Stevens will lead it off. Pitch out side ball one. Stevens one for one, a single and a sacrifice bunt. She'll be followed by Nickerson Jones. If anybody gets on Bix, then Heaton. The 1 0 to Delaney. High 2 0. I would imagine Stevens is taking until she sees a strike. Although the Bulldogs would prefer two, two more balls and get that lead off hitter on base. The 2 0. That's in their first strike, 2 and 1. Now the 2-1 pitch on the inside corner strike two. Two balls, two strikes. Now Delaney's got to protect the plate. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. And there's one, one down in the seventh. Casey Nickerson, one for three with a single in this game. Let's see if Casey can get something started here. First pitch from Reblick. Foul back and out of play, 0-1.
Weird line on the scoreboard. Fairfield, five runs, six hits, and one error. A tumble, one run, ten hits, and one error. Actually, Fairfield, pardon me, a tumble has two errors. That pitch misses. And the count even at a ball and a strike. One and one to Nickerson. Reblings pitch. Down and in two and one. Casey digs back in. The two one pitch. Popped up, coming in the first baseman Simpson near the circle makes the catch and a touchdown was down to its final out. Zoe Jones will bat. She's one for two with a single, a sacrifice fly. She's driven in the only it's will run here in game two. Now, if you see a path to tie the game. It's it's got to involve getting Jones, Bix, and Heaton on, and then Lemons would be the tying run. Pitch on the inside corner for a strike, 0 and 1. Rebling 0 1 to Jones. Bounced in there. One ball. All one strike. Two out, nobody on. Bottom seven, a tumble down on five one. The one one pitch. Down and in two and one. Zoe trying to keep the game alive for a Tom one. The 2 1 pitch. Swing and a miss. Bulldogs down to their final strike. 2 and 2. Rebling working quickly. Jones ready. The 2 2 pitch. Fouled into the mid of the cap. Catcher McCabe, strike three, and the ball game is over. It's home will lose both of their games in the Classic this season. They fall to Fairfield by a final of 5-1. to one. We will take three minutes. Let's come back and get you the totals on the Atomo Radio Sports Network. Family First Chiropractic, it is our goal to get you and your family as healthy as possible and keep you healthy for the rest of your life. We deliver an elevated level of care for the entire family. We approach healthcare from a holistic view, incorporating multiple chiropractic techniques and physical therapy to ensure that our patients achieve the best results as fast as possible. We believe you deserve the best. A little preventative care now will eliminate pain management in later years. We want our kids to grow and live an active, healthy lifestyle. Get your family checked at Family First Chiropractic. Whether you are a player, cheerleader, or coach, your friends at Petrita Orthodontics are cheering for you. We are proud of the students in our area and are happy to support them in their school activities. We want to see you smile on and off the field. If you or your child are in need of orthodontic care, call us for a free no-obligation appointment. We have many different options available to help your child's bite and smile. Call us today at Petrita Orthodontics in Ottumwa and Oskaloosa. We look forward to making you smile. It's time to choose the credit union with a new perspective. At Meridian Credit Union, we don't just see member profiles. We see people. People with goals. People who want to save more. People that we can help. 
That's why we offer financial services convenient to you. Great loan rates, online banking with bill pay, mobile banking, and credit cards. Join the many satisfied Meridian members today. See how our perspective can help you. Family First Chiropractic, it is our goal to get you and your family as healthy as possible and keep you healthy for the rest of your life. We deliver an elevated level of care for the entire family. We approach healthcare from a holistic view, incorporating multiple chiropractic techniques and physical therapy to ensure that our patients achieve the best results as fast as possible. We believe you you deserve the best. A little preventative care now will eliminate pain management in later years. We want our kids to grow and live an active, healthy lifestyle. Get your family checked at Family First Chiropractic. Engage, educate, and empower every student every day. A Tomwa School. Building relationships, foundations for success. Wondering what to have for lunch or supper? Stop in and see Mike and his team at Mike's Pizza and Steakhouse. Whether you want amazing Greek food, pasta, salads, sandwiches, fish, chicken, steak, or the best pizza in town, they have what you want. They are always open for carryout, and their full menu is available at mikespizzasteakhouse.com. Thank you, Southern Iowa, for making Mike's Pizza and Steakhouse your favorite restaurant. Restaurant and your favorite pizza place. Proud to support the Atumwa Bulldogs. You're watching the Atumwa Bulldogs on the Atumwa Radio Sports Network. Tomo High Softball on KBIZ. The 2020 Atomo Softball Classic is in the books. Unfortunately for Atomo, they suffer a pair of losses, losing their first game, game four to three to Class 3A number one Davenport Assumption, and then falling five to one in our nightcap to Class 4A number nine Fairfield. The totals in our final game for the Trojans. Five runs, six hits, one air, four left on base. Cody Engel, the winning pitcher, eight and no. Allison Rebling did qualify for her second save. For Otumwa, one run, nine hits, two, two errors, seven left on base. Ashton Brown, the loss, is now five and two. In a ball game that took one hour and 26 minutes to complete. Home runs in the game, game one for Fairfield. Danielle Breen, her second. As Fairfield improved to 16 and 1, and Atomo drops to 10 and 7. We'll take one more three minute timeout, come back, and wrap up the classic for 2020 on the Atomo Radio Sports Network. At Community First Credit Union, there's a lot to see. We build customized financial solutions so you can enjoy the life you want. We make it comfortable to have a conversation about what's important to you, like helping you stay on course to reach your savings goal. And what's important to us all, like helping to support causes that count. See for yourself what See First can do for you. It's time to choose the credit union with a new perspective. At Meridian Credit Union, we don't just see member profiles. We see people, people with goals, people who want to save more, people that we can help. That's why we offer financial services convenient to you. Great loan rates, online banking with bill pay, mobile banking, and credit cards.
cards. Join the many satisfied Meridian members today. See how our perspective can help you. You are a player, cheerleader, or coach. Your friends at Petrita Orthodontics are cheering for you. We are proud of the students in our area and are happy to support them in their school activities. We want to see you smile on and off the field. If you or your child are in need of orthodontic care, call us for a free no-obligation appointment. We have many different options available to help your child's bite and smile. Call us today at Petrita Orthodontics in Ottumwa and Oskaloosa. We look forward to making you smile. In Searcy, Arkansas, a young man says I love you for the first time, but his girlfriend doesn't quite hear. In Franklin, Tennessee, a boy encounters his first pickle. And in Kyle, Texas, after a mission for tots, cousins realize there are a long way from Kyle, Texas. One day, many people, millions of orders. This is how we saw it. Wondering what to have for lunch or supper? Stop in and see Mike and his team at Mike. Pizza and Steakhouse. Whether you want amazing Greek food, pasta, salads, sandwiches, fish, Fish, chicken, steak, or the best pizza in town, they have what you want. They are always open for carryout, and their full menu is available at Mike'sPizzaSteakhouse.com. Thank you, Southern Iowa, for making Mike's Pizza and Steakhouse your favorite restaurant and your favorite pizza place. Proud to support the Ottumwa Bulldogs. At Community First Credit Union, there's a lot to see. We build customized financial solutions so you can enjoy the life you want. We make it comfortable to have a conversation about what's important to you, like helping you stay on course to reach your savings goal. And what's important to us all, like helping to support causes that count. See for yourself what See First can do for you. Watching the Ottumwa Bulldogs on the Ottumwa Radio Sports Network. And welcome back one final time tonight to Houston field where Ottumwa drops both of its games in the Classic, losing 4-3 to Davenport Assumption and 5-1 to to Fairfield. Our next broadcast of Ottumwa High Athletics comes up on Monday, Bulldog Baseball and Softball on the road at Des Moines North. We will have baseball first pitch at 3.30 Monday afternoon on 12.40 a.m. 102.7 FM KBIZ in the live video stream at atomoradio.com. Let's thank all our sponsors one more time. Meridian Credit Union, Patriot Orthodontics, Champion Bowl, Community First Credit Union, Slayton Polaris, Sonic Drive-In, Dixon's Floors and More, Mike's Pizza and Steakhouse, the Atomo Community School District, Cole Palace Cafe and Books, Family First Chiropractic, Lisco and River Hills Community Health Center. A big thank you to Bulldog Head Coach Mandy Moore for helping us prepare for the broadcast today. And a big thank you to both of my producers, Annie Argo, the on-site video producer, and Brandon Drew producing the radio broadcast back at the KBIZ studios. Finally, I'd like to thank you, the fans, for tuning in this afternoon because without your support of these broadcasts then of Ottumwa High Athletics, none of this would be possible. So thank you for tuning in to Bulldog Softball on 1240 AM, 102.7 FM, KBIZ, and the live video stream at AttumwaRadio.com. My name is Jason Van Arkle. I will talk to you on Monday when the Bulldog baseball team plays at Des Moines North. Until then, 
Good night, everybody, and happy 4th of July.